here we have another section of skin. And in contrast to the last section of skin that we saw, which was called thin skin, in the section here of thick skin, we could see that the stratum corneum, which extends all the way from here to here, is considerably thicker than the entire thickness of the rest of the epidermis. And that's why it's called thick skin. Uh, another difference between this thick skin and thin skin is that thick skin has no hair follicles and therefore no sebaceous glands either, uh, which is why you don't have hair on your palms or your soles. And another feature of thick skin, because it's usually in an area like a fingertip that is very, very, very tactile, is that you will see the presence of these little whirled cellular structures, which look a lot like nerves, but they're modified nerves and they'll, they're called Pacinian corpuscles, which is a, an extremely sensitive uh, uh, sensory detector in the skin. Um, let's move around a little bit more and you'll see some of the other structures that we saw. You could see that there are uh, the ducts of eccrine sweat glands here and here and here and here and here. And remember, thick skin is extremely rich in eccrine sweat glands. Here are the actual asini of eccrine sweat glands here and here. Here is a blood vessel, probably a vein. Here is a probably an artery. Here's an artery. All these open spaces are blood vessels. All of this thick, uh, dense fibrous connective tissue which contains chiefly collagen fibers, and most of the nucleated cells are fibroblasts, is the dense reticular dermis, which is rich in elastic fibers, but you can't see those because uh, we don't have an elastic stain. However, if we did an elastic stain, you would see an extreme wealth of elastic fibers in the denser reticular dermis and practically none in the papillary dermis here. And once again, you can see the connective tissue between the reti pegs of the epidermis is the papillary dermis. And then this thicker material down here is reticular dermis. Um, that's about it. I don't think there's anything that we can say that we can see on this field that we can't identify. Here's the subcutaneous fat again. Here are the ducts of the eccrine sweat glands. These large open spaces are blood vessels. This dense fibrous connective tissue is reticular dermis. This looser uh, connective tissue uh, towards the uh, superficial portion of the dermis is papillary dermis. We can also see the uh, elongated reti pegs of the epidermis uh, extending all the way from the basal layer or stratum germinativum to this non-nucleated layer, the uh, stratum uh, uh, corneum. Another thing that I would like to show you is that in this particular uh, slide, we can have, as you can see here in the part of the field that is well-focused, a lot of these darker cells is the stratum granulosum. Often you don't see a good stratum granulosum in thin skin, but all of these real granular cells down here are stratum granulosum. Uh, you can also see that in an area like this, perhaps partly over here, you have these very ill-defined sensory structures uh, in the superficial most portion of the papillary dermis, which are the Meissner's corpuscles, which are also organs or histologic structure of sensory uh, um, detection as well. Once again, basal layer. All of the cells in here are the stratum spinosum or prickle cell layer. Here is a thick, beautiful stratum granulosum. All these dark cells are filled with keratohyaline granules. And then all the way from here to here is your stratum corneum. This is thick skin and I thank you very much.